God is great. God uh, is good. Let us thank him for our food. <laughs> That's food and good don't I, even rhyme. I, I, Fuck, is Christian that, stupid as shit. Is yeah. that how grace works? I don't think I've ever okay. seen somebody do grace before. So that's grace if that's like the kid grace. I heard that when, you know, if it's like Thanksgiving, which was coming up, uh, you know, if there's a bunch of kids around the table and it's a you know, like Christian Catholic family, they'll be like, Why don't you say grace? And then the kid really sheepish sheepishly might go like, God is great, God is good <laughs> and like trying to get a laugh and like it's very cute. The one that I did was uh We'll, we'll do it properly. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, bless us, our Lord, for these thy gifts, which we are about to receive through thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I love the fact that Jesus Christ is like, here's your beans and weans, stupid. <laughs> I, 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 it's your fault. You think Jesus hate needs a hairnet, dude. He does. I hate <laughs> the fact that I also fucking, I haven't done that in 15 years probably that yeah. was what my family did growing up and it's just burned Jesus. into my brain oh my god see i was doing it as a bit because my family we didn't even eat in the same room like we were even, <laughs> like we were completely just separate little puzzle pieces that would never fit together and your family's out here saying that's why i ate so fucking fast we're used to just <laughs> believe me we were puzzle pieces forced together from different puzzles hello <laughs> and welcome to the next and most recent episode of dinner at your place and i say that in a weird intro because i did one yesterday so that one anyway continuity hello it is my first double guest episode <laughs> it is a couple as well so this will I'll be, be fun. in the mic the whole time it is <laughs> al christakis and brianna woodward of the clown people podcast as well so we are calling this dinner with clown people <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for coming down and eating some beans and weans. Thanks, thanks for, for having us, Danny. Of course, this is going to be fun. Yeah, we just did uh, the classic hot dogs, mac, and beans because Brianna said I'm Walmart in human form. So <laughs> I'm a Walmart trash can. <laughs> but also, and the, Al, you asked me too, you're like, do you, after cooking all this stuff, like, do you still have this meal? Like, yeah, this is my favorite meal. <laughs> uh, like, it is, if it's not my favorite, it's definitely top three. Like, this 100%. I made spaghetti and meatballs as the like, hey, kickoff meal, because mostly just because it's like it's a my favorite meal in that three range at least, but also it's like something you can actually make versus like, hey, I'm starting a podcast. Here's boxed mac and cheese and hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, you're really Dude, phoning in. What's this exactly. episode five? He's already given up. Yeah, this, yeah, this is eleven, and now we're doing the box stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Here's just... a box of stuffing, you stupid fucks. <laughs> I just didn't know how fancy you were going to go with the pod because you're like, it's yeah, it's a dinner at my place. And it's like, oh, are you going to do some crazy, like, brushed fucking lamb? I mean, <laughs> like, something like. Is the, it just like you said, chef, dude. you got the Greek background. You said Slovak, like, you know, Slovaki platter. Like, I, again, if we had more than a couple hours, I would have taken that on for Don't sure. I want you to make tzatziki from scratch with your feet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking do it. Just stomping on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how this works. Yeah. I mean, so. We got Al with the Greek background, Brianna with the Walmart background. But hey. where are you actually? Like, what's where? My where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? Lunenburg, Massachusetts. You know what that means. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm being coy. I'm from. Uh, my family is French Canadian, apparently. Oh, I mean, also Lunenburg, Massachusetts, great answer though. Yeah. Uh, are you? Are you? Do you hail from Greece? Like, did you come here yourself? I came here. Um, I anchor babied. Then I lived in Greece till like three or four. And What's I anchor baby? Out. Oh, is that? He was oh, born you're born on here, a... okay. but his family, like he immediately We've, trucked it back to Greece. They've done that for uh, two generations. Okay, so like that happened yeah. with my dad, his brother, <laughs> and then uh, my aunt. They fucking they were born here, and then they actually grew up completely over there. They were there till they were like eighteen, nineteen. Wow. When they came back. So that but seems that inconvenient. Was... But they get born here for oh yeah health. Yeah, my grandma was you... fucking taking the plane eight months pregnant with uh, yeah. Zero. What yeah. the fuck? Because you get automatic American citizenship. Oh, duh. That's country. why yeah. it's called an anchor baby because you're like anchoring God. here. And then yeah. you go back home. So you got that. Okay, yeah. you got the dual. Just so that for, way when yeah. he comes over to like it's make way the, easier. Yes, the American dollars, send it back home where it's worth more. Got and, it. And it's fucking way easier for uh, your parents or whoever. That had you here get their citizenship. Like my dad already had his, but for yeah uh, that fucking generation, it was literally like we're gonna have these fucking kids, and the government's gonna be like, oh my god, you have kids here. I'm sorry, we can't send you away. Yeah. So you get they you just would have like been more tr strict now, but <laughs> wow, holy shit! And then 
where do you where specifically in Greece? Because also my sister's getting married in Santorini next year. Santorini is like the second tourist island. Like Mykonos is like okay. Uh, <laughs> the mic wasn't loud enough. <laughs> so Mykonos is number one. You're gonna get fucked on tourist prices, and then Santorini is like number two. It's slowly becoming. I also hear you're gonna get fucked literally in Mykonos because it's a very Probably. horny place. There's gonna be a lot of fucking going on. That's is that just um, Greece in general? Yeah, I mean. It's all that Ziki sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Natural <laughs> aphrodisiac because they make it with feet. That's why your dad is a foot fetish. They just make <laughs> it. like all the tourists. Confir- and you know that confirmed? Wow. So wait, how, so how long have you guys been dating? Over uh, a little over a year. Yeah. And it's still dating, right? It's not like fiance. Like, uh, no, it's I basically want- that, yeah. Okay, well be. right, because... Everyone sees look at us, Danny. Do you really yeah. think anyone else? Oh, is gonna- oh <laughs> shut, that's <laughs> not it. I love her. That's, yeah, how yeah. else? It's oh, that's, oh, oh, no, how else am I gonna look shit, like a twin with my... someone? <laughs> 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 Me to look like I'm banging someone I'm related to. Oh, that's funny. You guys are cousins. No, we're a couple. We do stuff that we do. You... We've had that happen multiple times <laughs> yeah. in Florida. Oh yeah, and they're like, oh, you guys are like it's your sister, and it's like I was making out with her earlier. And it's like, like a oh. white stripe situation. <laughs> <laughs> like we just tell people we're brothers. I know what your deal is. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's why I'm curious if that's your sister because I saw you specifically (laughs) make it out. (laughs) And if it is your sister... Cool. I like that. <laughs> that good. is very cool. Yeah, they like us less when we're like, no, not related at all. Like, oh, ah, no, no. Wait, I dude. thought there was a story here. <laughs> I was going to show you my pet alligator, but now I, I don't give a shit about it. Hey, you, you and that kissing sister here want to come see my gator? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So oh, they're cool. Born here in Florida? B- no, born in. <laughs> no, I've, I've never lived in Florida. Uh, I was born in Cape. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. s- b- all right. And that's where you now, so still yeah. kind of yeah. s- homebodied there. That's cool. Yeah. And then I live in Lunenburg, right. in the middle of the state. So, I have a dual citizenship as well <laughs> between <laughs> Lunenburg and, and the Cape because it's very far away. We've been building our schedules based on how fucking like far it is. Yeah. I mean, so we got a show in Plymouth, which is like 50 minutes from Cape. It's like closer it's than It's like two Lunenburg, hours so from like... my house. So I'm like, oh, let's stay on Cape this day, that day. And then we try and get like a couple other shows out there. And exactly. Then, yeah. 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 And that's yeah. convenient too that you guys also, like, if one of you gets hit up for like, hey, yeah. can you do this by like, oh, well, let me bring this other, the, yeah. the other part of my equation. Yeah. And then driving buddy, another spot. Another place that you can stay should the show be closer. Very convenient. Yeah, it's nice. Honestly, yeah. And um, curious because this is actually something that I definitely wanted to ask was, I'm of the mindset, don't fuck another comic. <laughs> it almost <laughs> happened once and it was ugly for a couple reasons, but we won't get into it. Oh, no. But you guys have made it work yeah, for well, a uh, year dude, plus, you I guys should be thinking the whole time, like who was it? Well, I'll tell you after. Was it's it not Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. called editing out. If it was, if it was, if it was Ori, this would be a completely different story because it would be. I fucked the comic one time and. Damn, it was great, but I just can't do it again. <laughs> it was so funny, yeah, because people were like, "Yo, you shouldn't fuck comics," and I'm like, "All right, well, I've already broken that rule. <laughs> like, I don't care." By the time you heard yeah. the rule, you're like, "Whoops, that's already one that okay. is off the table for me." Yeah, I was like, "Well, whatever." I got banned from Tinder, dude. I don't have many options. You got banned from Tinder? What the fuck do you do? How do you get? I just fucked with everybody that you ever matched with. I am such a nice lady. Uh, <laughs> it was bullshit. You're doing me. great bits. <laughs> <laughs> Free oh, ham. Free little boosie. It's me. <laughs> free little bo- You need to sell confidence boost. Get back on Tinder. Yeah. Now you're going to meet up with her. I just want to see that matches, bitch. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, I got banned of shit. Tinder didn't even care that they're all excellent bits. They're just like, whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm sorry Tinder. that I'm funnier than these people. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Like, guys would like say like something gross as of course. an opener, and yeah. I wouldn't like it. And instead of just ignoring it, I yeah, would then- engage meanly <laughs> of course and then why the fuck don't they get banned for being like hey you want to see I this said. dick yeah i was like fucking whatever that's not a tactic but yeah no it was stupid but uh no it doesn't matter i don't need tinder now because i have a hundred and something 80 pounds maybe <laughs> of delicious greek souvlaki meat every day grown up You're grown up Tintin. generous with the weight <laughs> like i'm bad at eyeballing weights <laughs> but he's he is a number of souvlaki meat so if you guys are 
bouncing around between two places, trying, mm-hmm. you know, doing shows and all that. What's your, like, it's Tuesday or whatever. Are you making dinner? Are you getting out? You just order and pick up because it's easier. Well, when we stay at his place, his family owns like a pizza shop. So we break. Classic Greeks. I know. Gross. And then <laughs> <laughs> we break in we and just make Batter food. a diner. <laughs> <laughs> No, the pizza shop's very good because they make really good wings. So, like, we'll just cool. break in when we get there and just make a bunch of food. And I'll eat, like, pepperonis and cool. stuff. Cool. Convenient. And, yeah, free. So, it's very mm. great. And then, uh, other than that, we just it's a lot of eating out. Because, like, sometimes my mom will cook. But, like... Mm. I don't know. I don't like her. Uh, I don't like her stove. I'm very picky with where I cook. Interesting. Because so, we were talking. I was like, I also like to cook, but I fucking hate her stove. So like, I just don't. Gas, electric. It's what's... electric. I hate do, it. Do, oh, yeah, do, I do, fucking do, hate do, that thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, gas way better. Yeah. But then also down. you live in an old apartment like I do. And then your gas burners go out one by one. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. When I lived in my apartment before they sold my building and forced me to Boo. move home with my fucking psychopath man. Get her, <laughs> get her back on Tinder and the and the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sugar daddy my way into like a shitty apartment with a gas stove. Be like, <laughs> it was just all just for the yeah, gas. We made stove. it too. I just that's yeah, gas stove. It's I feel like it just cooks better. I don't even care if there's scientific reasoning as to why it's not. I prefer and to also cook gra- granted when the burners do go out and you just hear that that pie and you know you're like oh that smell that's yeah. I gotta get outside but that sound when it yeah and then you hear that light it's Finally. like oh yeah all right the We're boom the yeah. it's time to cook ba- like it's yes. a very nice satisfying yes. sound there's a lot of satisfying sounds in cooking the in ASMR my opinion. it really is broke ass boiling <laughs> B- boil i mean garlic great. sizzling when something hits the grill too that's when you have way too hot of a pan then you put a bunch of butter and then you set off your building's whole ass fire <laughs> alarm uh because you just want to make buttery chicken yeah i did that it was uh <laughs> Not you, my proudest. But you have the pa- you have the pan on super hot. Yeah. Oh, dude, there was nothing in that pan. <laughs> Dry, hot pan. And then I was like, I'm going to stick a butter in here. And then I fucking put it in there. And it immediately smoke. burned. Yeah. Just immediately. Fuck yeah, dude. And then the firefighter was like, <clears throat> well, you know, it does smell good at least. There so, you and go. I was, like, I was like, thank you, sir. I want to die because like. The, it's like an old building and the only person who was home was my like elderly downstairs neighbor so she had her cat in the fucking carrier and it was oh just like, no Bang! you're the neighbor that everyone hated at that point at that point it was only her at that time but <laughs> me and marth were good dude we fucking Fuck yeah dude we came through me and marth <laughs> i'm gonna try to find the picture but yeah so also that's perfect while you're looking so you grew up hot dogs and mac it you know that's how that's... We, we were talking oh yeah Greek heritage. When's the first time you had a hot dog? Uh, was that an over? I, I mean, my mom was like a white trash lady, so I. Oh, uh, okay. White trash you had okay. You had the night. You had you had the uh, mix. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of that shit, like ramen noodles, frag beads. All right, so um, it wasn't suvaki and tzatziki and grape leaves growing up. Uh, pizza, because we had the restaurants. Right. It was like, yeah, it's cheaper to just fucking eat shit from there. I would just eat pizza. Dude, I ate pizza every day for like fucking three years at one point. Like, it was bad. Fucking Ninja Turtle ass diet. I, can't. <laughs> I don't feel good. It's probably, I wonder why I don't feel good. It's this pizza I you've had every day for the last three years. Going <laughs> blind from cholesterol and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in the family, though, for a while. The restaurant. Uh, since 1970. Yeah. Wow. All yeah, right. So it's got heritage on the Cape. That's cool. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <You're just don't, laughs> totally over it at this point. Well, yeah, he's like forced to work in the pizza mines. It's literally, so. was my next question was how long ha- did you have to work there when you were growing up? Oh, and... fucking! I was making boxes there when I was like four or five. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately putting those tiny hands to work. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's why. I mean, that's so interesting. There's got to be a lot of stories and history in that whole bringing the baby over for the sake of citizenship yeah. bringing him back smart fucking move it dude. really <laughs> is i mean i think it's still probably you could do did you get thing today, did but... you get like a so you you grew up over there you said for the majority like 
Did you get a rumspringa at a certain age where you? <laughs> Fuck it. I don't even know what rumspringa is. It's dude. when all the uh, the Amish people are allowed to like go into like the real world. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, when, yeah. it's when yeah. the it's when the Amish. Yeah, dude, I think I it's like fucking, age. I saw it, running water and I just came in my pants. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, people aren't all covered in their own shit. <laughs> <laughs> was it? But did you get sent back? Like when? I guess I I want to hear about this like straddling between the two places that's what i'm curious I mean, about I, it's like <laughs> that's i've gone back a bunch yeah like, from uh, like your whole life it seems yeah, yeah. From, okay All but right. uh honestly living there it's like it's so fucking long ago uh like 23 years or something so i don't have like a lot of memories of living there but going back there was always great you know um yeah just nice touristy things do you feel like a tourist then though when you go back a little bit, Despite yeah. Th- that's Dude, I can't even read in Greek. Really? I can you speak, speak it? it. Yeah, yeah, but I can't read. I mean, I kind of can, but it's not. Eh. Damn, man, it's, that's got, that's an interesting feeling, though, of like, this is your heritage. This is where you are from. But going back is like, is it the touristy feeling of because of the changing city and like scene of like, wow, this really is getting infested? Or is it Dude, that honestly, feeling of you feeling disconnected? A lot of it has to do with just fucking being a ginger. <laughs> but, uh, dude, nobody fucking believes me. Like I'll speak perfectly fine Greek to a dude that's like, "Ah, oh, come in for, come sir, come, come on, great deal for you, German." Uh, and then yeah, I show up and I'm like, "Oh, Kalaim, and the guy's just like, "The fuck? <laughs> what? Well, why? I appreciate you trying, but you don't have to." It's like, no, this is this is who I am. Yeah. Quit fucking with me. That's <laughs> fucking Irish ass. <laughs> Yeah, but they're not using Christakis. Show, show well, Christakis. it could be like a married name. Well, yeah. You know, like, 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 like the parents he took, he took married. The... Yeah. <laughs> like, it's... my last name's not really Woodward by blood, so it doesn't, like, matter. Like, it could have... Yeah. I guess, yeah. You said you have, you have like, a, French, a French-ass-sounded French name. Yeah, well, I don't know. My family... I don't know. My grandma, Hobag, had, like, 900 different husbands so like woodward was like one of the married ones that okay. like my dad got like adopted by sure him. so like but yeah her name was fournier like my mom's main name Fuck. was ledger like, fucking fournier fournier fournier, fournier yeah, I, or some fucking something stupid if, Leger. it's like if Leger. evan fournier <laughs> the fournier. next shooting guard is listening right oh. now play better you bitch <laughs> You, yeah, get you, fucked, dude. I don't even know who you be are. Be the die. Be the sir. good Fournier. Don't be a fucking yeah. hoe bag that bricks threes. All right. Anyway, that's yeah. my my worst quality is that I'm a New York Knicks fan. My Nana. We don't. Even, I don't even know, know why I called her Nana. Sports. We never called her Nana. My meme. <laughs> she <laughs> she would definitely brick threes. <laughs> <laughs> Strong as fuck, dude. I if Grandma though was the better Fournier, and the Knicks rolled out a lineup of like four. NBA appropriate age athletes, and then a fifth player that was your grandma. Oh yeah, and but she could hit shots. I think the city of New York would Sounds be like, like, yeah, that old bitch is ours. <laughs> Sounds like she probably could. I mean, she's been dead for a few years, but like, she... so of the Knicks. Anyway, <laughs> dude, she's dead as hell. My dad fucking hated her. I remember when her funeral rolled around. My dad, like, I had a little point and shoot camera, and he was yeah. like, "Get a picture of that. Get her in the box." Wow. <laughs> And he made it his Facebook profile no picture for shit. Like so long. You, it was in the early days of <laughs> yeah, Tumblr. For the, the, the fucking no, guy with the peace even, sign. Yeah. Even better. You know how like you could like green screen gifts and stuff? Yeah. It used to be like a big deal where it's like, oh well, I knew how to do that. So like you know the scene in Toy Story where they're all trying to like jump to get the pizza <laughs> thing or like the grocery store yeah. door to open? It was all the Toy Story toys jumping on her corpse oh, in the box. <laughs> 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 My, I was like, my. I'm pretty sure my dad loved me for like a week for that. Like I, I got, <laughs> <laughs> like I definitely, That's like sick, dude. I got some like quality father daughter. Oh time my god. Yeah, because I was the only one in the family who knew how to like make a gift. He so, hate, so he hated that woman. He hated her. her. Flowers lit on fire during the service, and everyone was like, wow. "Well, you know where she is." <laughs> nah. Wow, that yeah. is. Definitely a sign yeah, from was, below. Yeah. Holy crap. She mean. She took forever <laughs> to sucked. die, too. She had like 9,000 shades of cancer, like fucking psoriasis. Her God. legs were just, oh, they remind me like salami that someone like took a bite out of. They were just splotchy and yucky. Damn, isn't it, doesn't it, it kind of suck how like the people that should go sooner 
don't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, you couldn't have died any t- I mean, it didn't matter. I didn't get anything out of it. So I was just like there. I'm like, ah, yeah. Just live so long a, full of spite. Dude. Yeah, That's I mean, it. If, if my mom ended up having nine husbands, <laughs> we, got, we, got through, we got through the second, you know, Husband two on now. We barely got through the break from one. You're on so. your second stepdad. <laughs> no, I'm on one stepdad. Second, one stepdad. second dad overall. Oh, I see. Yeah, second exactly. dad. Over- All right, I got one stepdad. My okay. mom didn't even marry my dad. That <laughs> cool. <laughs> they were never ever married. And then the one dude she did marry, uh, he's just in jail for murder. So like that's my no stepdad. No way. Yeah. People that like I do like bits about or whatever. I don't mean to like run a premise that I do on a podcast. No, that's fine. But it's a true fact. Uh, he's been in jail since 1996. Like, yeah, they got married in the prison. Do you I do this bit often. How, do, how the fuck have I missed this? I don't know. I got uninvited yeah. from the prison wedding. He, dude, <laughs> he was. Bu- uh, yeah, I don't want to bury the lead, but me, well, go ahead because I'm just I'm just, now I'm stewing about the time my mom uninvited me from her prison wedding because right. it's really? a contentious relationship so <laughs> all right you what's the lead there the lead is Aaron Hernandez oh that's not even part of the lead he knew Aaron Hernandez no, I feel like I would blow his mind though. I mean, <laughs> oh. Aaron Hernandez quote unquote you know apparently there's a lot of stories banged a lot of dudes in prison did he bang your dad? No, but the thing is, okay, so what happened with Aaron Hernandez is like, my stepdad was like, I'm still, I'm, <laughs> he I'm was like, there, dude. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> like, I'm still intrigued, like, but I really was hoping that your dad and Aaron Hernandez. That would have been a better get. I feel like he would have <laughs> been able, like maybe we wouldn't have to send him money for canteen if he got fucking sexed into the Aaron Hernandez will. That would be fucking dope. But unfortunately, I'm not that lucky. We have a straight ass stepdad. Holy shit. But uh, there's this thing called K2, which is like, yeah. I think it's like PCP or something, but the point is, is like it's kind of like acid where you can drop it on paper and then you just smoke the paper and you get like super super huh. high. But it's like it's like fucked up, like bath salts fucked up yeah. where you do crazy shit. And uh, yeah, so like it's like I can't send my stepdad like birthday cards anymore. Like you can, but they have to like Xerox it and then send you the original back. Like they won't give out any original papers because that's how they would get the drugs into the prison. You would drop oh, it onto shit. cards, yeah, and mail it in. And no one would know because it's just a birthday card. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, Aaron Hernandez uh, immediately was, like, on the drug train the second he got in there. And uh, he's Aaron Hernandez on the Patriots. So all the fucking dudes, like, my dad, my stepdad does, like, bookying and shit. So he's, like, big sport guy. And so they're like, yeah, he was just high on fucking K2. And obviously the prison can't be like, yeah, there's a lot of drugs that's happening here. And uh, there was, like, a big... I don't know if this is why, but I know that they also, like, dispersed a lot. Like, my stepdad went from being in a Massachusetts prison. Now he lives in Maryland, Cumberland, Maryland. So they, like, disperse people. They were like, fuck it. Like, if we can't get, like, the drugs out, we'll bust up the rings. And they'll just, they just shipped everyone out and did, like, a big shuffle. So he ran a drug ring with Aaron Hernandez. I mean, that's, like, a definitely know. a spin to put on. I don't think he ran it, but, like, yeah. that, from what I've gathered... He ran a drug with, with Aaron <laughs> Hernandez, and then they would have gay sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he they found they sold all the drugs. Yeah, they would, like, come onto the paper when it dries. They would mail it out. To the... <laughs> I just imagine. They called it K3. <laughs> Someone just trying to boo fake marijuana into a jail. Oh, my dad fucking... I can't... Oh, My my real dad was the boo... I call him the boof king, because he fucking... Every time... Yeah, my real dad was in and out of jail. He didn't do, like, a big enough crime, or at least he didn't get caught for it. Okay, not the... Not yet. Just DUIs, stupid shit like that. In and out, in and out. Just, like, general scumbaggery. Yeah, general scumbaggery, and, like, so he was very in and out, but, like, yeah, no, he would tell... Like, every time he talks to Al, he'd be like, yeah, dude, I fucking... I had drugs, cigarettes, all kinds of... And Al's like... Like kind of like in laughing his, in his butt. Oh, in his butt, and uh, yeah, and so I would be like, and he's like, "What are you laughing, fucking laughing at? In my life. This is my I'm life. Like, I'm telling you tales about my life." I'm like, "Yeah, you snuck a fucking PS2 in there, a whole fucking <laughs> plasma screen," and he's like, "That's not fucking. Funny. Don't laugh That's at me about how big funny. my butthole is <laughs> yeah. and the space that it occupies and what so can fit funny. in it." Okay, dude, it's so funny. He like had not to put my dad's medical history on blast, but he had this thing called anal fissures. Yeah, of course he did. He's yeah. putting stuff in his butt. It's so fucking funny. Like fissures, yeah. anal fissures is just a funny name. Like, fissures. My dude's got fucking the Mariana Trench in his asshole. He's tucking skittles into there. <laughs> dude, um. what? Yeah, you put you. It, 
with you, uh, okay. <laughs> I think Danny just did a hard reboot. <laughs> I really did because I the cigarettes. Is it y- you? You take the cigarettes out and you like kind of like line okay. them up like a, like See, like, yeah. like bullets in a barrel. You know how it's kind of like a roll. You roll them. It's not like a perfect square. You just roll them. You balloon them or condom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I thought he was just no. taking American Spirit packs and like. <laughs> Them up just there. raw dogging them up there. Yeah. The whole fucking Only easy the tr- bake oven. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Only the true booth kings can get them camel wides. <laughs> <in. laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, if someone was telling me that story, yeah, you're the booth king. He's the booth king. Like, yeah. unfortunately, well, you make a lot of money. That's you, dude. Doing fucking like. Oh yeah, he told us. He's like, that's the most money I ever made in my life. Was boofing heroin into jail because no one wants to put heroin in their butt no one wants to mule anymore this is what's wrong with america no one wants to fucking open up their asshole that is not where i was going with that one (laughs) for the good of everybody else but no now my dad lives in montana he lives a quiet peaceful life dying slowly of copd and like fucking heart disease <laughs> like oh god and just hoping that his anal fissures don't come back i bet i know fucking it's like fucking no no anal fissures for my dad I, I hope he can at least take a shit in peace i've made peace with him enough to know <sighs> that at least his doo-doos don't come out like blood anymore so yeah. i'm gonna assume uh-huh. but still ask uh-huh you don't see him very often anymore. No, sometimes like yeah, that's yeah he maybe. can't really fly because like his heart will like explode or whatever. He's but gonna like, get the thrill to put something in his butt again. Yeah, yeah, well, fucking, I'm just gonna. What's that? I'm going on a plane. Time to boof some stuff just for just for I, the love of the game. I gotta boof my dad to get him back home. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak him onto a Dude, plane. I gotta fucking boof just my dad. Fucking boof a defibrillator. What's wrong with you? <laughs> He's gonna boof a pig heart. Place it himself. gonna work his way up. <laughs> 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 like he just at one point he goes. And he spits out his old heart. Because <laughs> the robot, the, <laughs> the, the robot, the, the robot, robot heart has finally <laughs> crept its way up. Yeah. We uh, we hope to see him actually when we leave in the winter because we have like a weird time in our little like tour schedule. Nothing's really oh, like yeah. locked in, another. locked in. Cool. Yeah, and uh, I do I do want to go see my dad in person. Also, because Montana is like a beautiful. State, okay, so you guys so. still, despite the history, you guys still have like a cool rela- like. You we have still, a cool relationship. You still now. actively want to see him. Yeah, I cool. do now. Like, definitely, yeah. if you asked me this question, like even like four years ago, I'd be like, right. "Fuck that hoe." Yeah, but, so, yeah. There's yeah. been a lot of work done on both ends. Mostly my end, but he's just so old. It's like you know what? You can't <sighs> teach an old dog that beating your kids a bad thing. So it's just. <laughs> But yeah, no, he's he's cool. He's cool now. Uh, it's just he's objectively just so fucking funny. <laughs> like if I take myself out of it, this man is a cartoon. Person. I was I was thinking about that the other day. How it's really such a it, it's very interesting how you see a lot of angry people and a lot of mean people. Yeah, but then you hear them or have a conversation with them, like oh fuck, they're funny. Like Dude, whether they dad, mean it or not, he's, they're hilarious. Dude, especially New England, motherfuckers yeah. are just evil around here. But it's the funniest. It shit It really ever. is. Dude, my dad's so fucking brutal. Like literally, like my mom would be like, "You guys aren't coming into the store with me. I fucking hate you." And then she would like leave. So me and my dad would just be like in the car, like alone. Anybody who walked by would get <sighs> that smoke. He is so like, ah, uh, he's just so fucking mean. Dude, <laughs> like, yeah. So funny though. It's it's it is very interesting how, you know, people the nice people who are trying to be funny, a lot of people who are like, Boo, you <laughs> fucking suck. Boo. <laughs> I remember when my dad went to the hospital because his heart exploded again or something. Uh the, you, right, you the know not heart that the heart that didn't go in his butt. The heart that didn't go in his butt, Obviously. his heart heart. Uh no, he like went to the hospital. I didn't know where he was. I asked my brother. I got I like yeah. called all the hospitals. Is my dad here? And then <laughs> I was just like talking to the guy and you could tell it's kind of like, yeah, and I was like, "Is he bullying you?" And the guy <laughs> like laughed. He's like, "Uh it does say here in his chart <laughs> that he's a uh, ornery and cantankerous." <laughs> But uh, I find it very endearing, personally. Oh God, you gotta you gotta frame that. He's gotta frame that. Someone that has a, a, a medical report that says you are ornery and cantankerous is 
Hall of Fame stuff. I was like, that is the nicest anyone's ever put it. Like, he's just, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely a polite way of saying this guy's a fucking dick. He's a fucking <laughs> dick, dude. Like, dude, my dad's such an asshole. I remember our house that we live in now. Very expensive to heat. It's oil. It's, we're poor. And, uh... <laughs> This prick. He would have a space heater. You know what he would do with the space heater? He would put it right in front of his feet and then put a blanket over it so it's like his own personal little kotatsu. And we're nah. all fucking dying of the cold. And we're like, can I have some heat? Meanwhile, like, the, his foot cave is going great. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, he's toasty as shit in his little fucking thing. Jesus. And that's... that. This is also the man with the foot fetish that you... No, that's no, his that's dad. that. Okay, yes, that's your man. Wild stuff that's, that I'm trying to connect no, here. That's My dad, just a dad, <laughs> that exists. Well, that's a what dad. I was gonna say too. Was so that's cool. Like for real, awesome on your <laughs> part to just like accept him for who he is because that's not an easy thing to do with a parent. No. It's plus like he ha he didn't have a good life. Like I said, his mom, huge dick. Like I remember when yeah. my dad was younger, he got hit by a car and was in like a full body, like, yeah. you know, like the suit, whatever. She just put him on like the front lawn and was like, just Oof. be outside, spent all the money from it. Like Oof. he was sent to like boys schools, you know, like yeah. constant abuse. The fucking his stepdads are fucking diddling all the sisters. It's like he's seen some shit. So in his head, he's like, sure, I'm not I may that bad. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm better than that, and right. the, you know the the goal is to right. just be better than right. what was. Exactly. So you know, but you actively, it seems like you know, trying to like break the cycle and yeah. like confront and you know, be yeah. like, look, I get you're you. Yeah. We we can't go. We can't change the past. Right. But I can. I can work learn. On it. It's like I'm yeah. never gonna breed. I'm never gonna have kids. But I will boof things in his honor. I'll fucking. <laughs> You get that fucking candle on lockdown, Danny. I'll fucking walk right out of here with that <laughs> prayer candle in my butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fucking Montana. We don't need a carry-on. <laughs> it runs in my blood. I'm the boof. I'm the boof king's daughter. <laughs> I got fucking tiny homes. I fucking oh, show you storage space. If you're going to boof things with my last name, God damn it. <laughs> Better do it right. Boof stocky, Sal. Boof <laughs> Sweetie, it's time you learn the ways of the boof. <laughs> He's the family, <laughs> the family boof. <laughs> He's Avatar, the last boof bender. <laughs> you can boof this Mr. Coffee once you take stone from a hand. Oh, my goodness. You can boof if you want to. You can <laughs> you, leave you your boofs behind. Because <laughs> your friends don't boof, and if they don't boof... <laughs> All right. Okay. On the topic of parents, I'm gonna. We just did a ton for you. I'm gonna jump to Al. What? I mean, also, what? I'm gonna lean over here. What? Are we, it was like thirty, probably. I'm guessing. Thirty minutes. Oh yeah. 32. Oh, perfect. Okay, that was. I was like, probably did have. All right, let's jump now. What's up with your parent? No. <laughs> What's up with your fucking weird uh, whites? I have the. Strangers. I have like you know the genuine question of like, you know. We we heard how that went. Yeah, <laughs> was that's really the best way I can sum how that up. That went. Where she came I kind of that's the best way I can do that. <laughs> Mine's not that funny. Mine's is, no, it's good. I got molested at my mom's day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good backstory. Um, but that's I mean that's cool too. And like you know I mean Brianna that's was cool too. Brianna was saying you know like you know they didn't eat dinner together. You guys were you ah, tight ate yeah. dinner together like. Sometimes, honestly, like my fucking early years, just kind of like I got uh, sent away from my mom. She had a like state rehab thingy, so I started oh. living with my grandma. Uh, and that motherfucker does not speak English at all. Uh, and my dad was just like not really that around at the house at all because he's like working and he's just doing other shit. Yeah. Um. So I just got raised by an old ass lady and my older brother. <laughs> um, and her shit was not like <laughs> old ass ladies. <laughs> yeah, dude, Yaya is like two thousand years old. Dude, she looks like Yoda. She's sick. <laughs> She's so small. She's Hello? Like the biggest eyes I've ever seen. You're so skinny. Hello. You need to eat more, Al. Uh, would you like the souvlaki? <laughs> <laughs> this is Iggy I made with my feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like the nicest woman of all time. And she's like just lived through three wars in like a mountain village wow, in that's Greece. Wild, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking uh, they skinned her uncle in the town square. The Turk did because he was like trying to teach everybody Greek in like a basement or something. Um, and they uh, Nazis shot her grandpa in front of her. 
Danny's second the, heart. This is the most interesting one yet. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, uh, how, the, to come back from that and be a sweet woman, like you it's said, insane. and it's insane. that's remarkable. When I say yeah, she's yeah. the nicest lady, that's yeah. remarkable. She. Oh, Brianna, I love Brianna. She's so nice. And I'm like, yes, yeah, yeah. Don't ever die. I will kill myself. Wow. That's and they were great. sending you back there to where? No, we... not in the mountains. We were fucking oh, right. we <laughs> back to like Yanina. She grew up in the little mountains and then she made, eventually they made, it made out her of the way mountain. down yeah. to a town that's still pretty rural. but <laughs> safer, safer than what was happening. Safer than, yeah, all the wars and shit. Because it wasn't just, it was Turks. Talk about the donkey. Oh, yeah. Dude, this bitch loves onions. Also, me and Yaya, kindred spirits, we'll eat onions like fucking apples, dude. I don't give a fuck. Dude. Shrek gang. She, fucking Yaya. That's something I felt fucking bad about when I was a kid because I was making fun of her. It was like her brother and her, and they split an onion that was like that big, and they just cut it in half, and then they yeah. had like two cloves of garlic and like a thing of olive oil, and that's what they ate for like a dinner, and I was making fun of her to my brother. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. You should talk to Baba about that. And, like, my dad overheard it, and he was like, you know, like, she was starving, and that's why, like... <laughs> yep, that's, yeah. I was, I was... Uh, if you're starving and somebody gives you an onion... You're gonna eat the onion, so... I can't <laughs> believe that your fucking yeah yeah was, like, a plot device in Holes. That is just... <laughs> <laughs> You'll become stronger at comedy. <laughs> I mean... And riff me to the mountain. yeah yeah is... Oh, no, it's not. I was gonna say... It, Yaya is the same as Stanley Yelnats. It's the same backwards. Yelnats. It's not. It's, it's Yelnats. not at all though. <laughs> yeah, Yelnats. Stan, yeah, 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 Yelnats. Yeah, Yelnats. I love her. Yeah, yeah my yeah, buddy yeah. is great. I mean, Yaya's are special people. I was adopted by a Yaya as Aww. well, and like Aww. the same. Not literally, of course, oh. but like she, she was very much like. You're such a sweet boy. Yeah. Like I love you. You're you always come over. You give me a hug. Like yeah. it was just such a. She, she was a very very sweet yeah yeah. And so I feel funny. like that's part of that might be part of the code. See, you guys had like a positive grandma experience. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, well, I wish I him. had a gra- Like I had Meme, but like she was such a fucking <laughs> dick. <laughs> she was so mean. To me. She back dude. Out. Well. Every Christmas, not even every Christmas, when my family was like, fine, let's go to this stupid fucking party. I remember one year, like, her husband, one of her husbands had recently just died, and that's the room we all had to sit in, was Oof. just, like, on the bed where, like, this dude just fucking kicked it. Nice. And so we're all just like, this is weird, right? <laughs> like, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. So that my positive grandma experience was, like I said, was not my grandma. I mean, I had, when I got none now. They're, they're donezo. One grandpa on Papa's side, my dad's side didn't make it when I, like, I didn't, never met him. Yeah. My grandma, pet, like, on my dad's side was when I was in, like, fifth grade. My mom's grandpa was when I was, like, four. So I, I only had one grandma for, like, the majority of my life, and a yeah. lot of my memories were with this one grandma, and yeah. she was... Not nice. Yeah, what? <laughs> fucking mean. She and my, my I t- I've told my mom like I didn't go to the funeral. I was like I didn't really get along with her. We we yeah. we start we like, when I was younger we got along great. Right. And then all of a sudden somewhere along the way it just turned and she like we just butted you, heads or like you get old who, enough to realize the yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Like, who yeah. knows what it was? But she was snipey with me and I just was No, Danny's snipey. not going to go to heaven if he keeps listening to Linkin Park. I, okay? I <laughs> would not have been surprised if that sentence got said. <laughs> truthfully. But yeah, so I totally get it of like the positive grandparent experience yeah. when I did have that yaya experience where I was like yeah. oh. Who's it? Who's old woman are you just hanging out with? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I miss that part. My I'm grandma like, my, and, uh, uh, like I'm going to fucking hang out with her. My, my buddy Troy and Theo. They're uh, as a, what's know, his name? Troy, Troy and Theo are their oh, first names. Oh, I thought you said Troy and Dio. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's Italian as fuck. Well, no, <laughs> no, Troy Theo, and no. And then if I'll tell you the last name after, very Greek. Uh, Greek, but Greek. yeah. And then their their dad is also a wonderful Greek man with a wonderfully thick mustache. It's uh, very yeah. They're very powerful, powerful genes. 
Troy Burdett and Theo Constantino. <laughs> 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 Do you think Troy Burdett and oh, Theo, Theo is Theo, Theo's Greek. Theo, I was yeah, going to say, same, I, yeah. as I was doing that, I was like, well, hold on a second. Theo, I believe, actually is Greek. Yeah. Troy, though, as you said, Fucking the hell. redhead. So you were raised by a Greek No fan? shot. <laughs> I w- second hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, when you... you your friends become your family in a way, and like I've spent holidays with, like this, you know, this is my friends since I was like, yeah, ten years old. Some white whatever. trash bullshit. Where you're yeah, like, exactly. my family's not there, but can I come see your? Yeah, friends? basically. Yeah. I mean, I want to hear the last name, but you gotta fucking. <laughs> Chris. Is it? Chris? Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I thought it was gonna be like some crazy. No, it's, Papa yeah, no, it's not like it's not like it's not like Giannis Antetokounmpo or anything. Yeah, fucking Papa Rochopoulos. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's you know, it's just like a a, a solid Greek name. Dude, yeah. I like still don't know how to like when I go to his house, it like took me. I'm like still adjusting to their family dynamic because mm. I'm like positive. Y'all are like you like don't hit each other. You don't <laughs> yell. No <laughs> knives are being drawn. Like you're you're listening. Like if somebody does have like a gripe. You like this listen, is a, yeah, a it's, positive environment to grow up and be a part of. And it freaks me. Literally, like I'll sit in like because Al lives in like the basement because of course he does. Sure, I he'll I've go been to relegated work. <laughs> to the fireplace <laughs> underneath the basement. He'll like go to work and like I'll just stay in the basement and like do like my computer work and like <laughs> I'll eventually emerge and they'll be like Brianna and oh. I'm like ha ah! <laughs> and then I was like yeah you know that you can go up there right they're not gonna like yell at you and I'm like. You sure? That's like, am I allowed? I, you're exactly. still afraid to like you like you're just like I'm not gonna move until Al gets back, and it's like four in the afternoon. And you're like I'm dying because <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that like I'm gonna get yelled at. I'm gonna it's get just yelled like at. built in. Yeah, you know. So you just stay. You try your best to stay out of the way. And I'm so like uncomfortable. What? Not like because of them. It's literally my yeah. own problem. But like I'll like I'm like wh- I gotta talk to you. Like I feel like I have to talk the whole time because yeah. I I can't just be in the same room like you like i always had to have a reason otherwise my dad would be like can you get the fuck out of here you're making me nervous and i'm like ah <laughs> yeah it's just like <laughs> or there's just like that weird tension of like, like hanging the fuck out are you doing yeah here? it's like wh- like just like fucking go away nothing's going on yeah. like why are you here let me let me, yeah. let me hang out and watch tv <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> like my mom like i remember when i was a kid i'd like to like sing and stuff and like i'd be like singing and my mom would be like can you shut the fuck up oh. and my dad would be like don't fucking yell at her then, yeah okay but like, then he'd like punch me like it's like very like <sighs> yeah there's it, there's that part dude, there it is yeah. so hey is that book in cold. here oh i had the i have a great book uh toxic parents and overcoming their harmful legacy oh that sounds Ooh. great because i've just been googling shit nah, and reading yeah, twitter threads <laughs> this is a great book uh, very good read and you will at points cry uh, <laughs> i had a big meltdown one day during a chapter well <laughs> See, you read big boy books, whereas me and Al, we watch anime. Hey, you, <laughs> hey, you get the license from anime too, though? Is there really? I Literally, that show Fruits Basket, like, touches. It's like, you know, like, yeah. Hey Arnold, where they're like, oh, that episode was so real. Dude, anime is like that episode, yeah, but all the time. Yeah, dude. I, like, sob at shit. Like, we were watching, like, One Piece, and I was just like, I cried for, like, an hour straight. And he's like. It's like every other episode you, of you One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, his dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so. It's just hitting a little close to home right now, dude. So many of them hit so hard. Yeah, I had to text my sister for uh, during Big Mouth this new season. Yeah. Did you watch? J- I like, watch okay. Big Mouth. Spoil- there, there's a there's a re- a couple that is married, and uh-huh. then it obviously goes towards a divorce. Uh, it's what it seems like. Uh, yeah. And a lot of it was ringing close to home, hey. like the way they interacted and stuff. So I just I had to text my sister. And I was like. Hey, I don't know if you've watched any of Big Mouth yet, but if you haven't, heads up. (laughs) It's going to be a little touchy. (laughs) How old were you when they divorced? I was 23. Oh, so you were I was an adult, yeah. How old are you now? 28. I thought you were like 21 right now. <laughs> no, no, you no. I just have that baby little face. Baby face. Holy yep. shit. Okay, because I, I, like, I was like, what has this happened last year? <laughs> kind of a little, you know, uh, in a way. No, yeah. it, was, it was like 2018 or something like that, 2017, somewhere oh, around so there. So that feels a lot sooner because like, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's yeah. always that weird like, 
versus you know kid or adult like you yeah. don't really remember it as a kid but yeah. you know my my brother i only have one younger brother mm-hmm. by four years so like when my dad like left for like good good because like he would like cheat on my mom and they were very like they were that couple that's like we're apart now we're together we're apart and like we all were Just along use it yep. yeah confusing for you guys as well but when he finally left like he got flown out like i caught my dad uh cheating on facebook you- Cause I know his passwords. Cause he's a fucking idiot. He, his big hide was like written down underneath the <laughs> keyboard. So I I remember it's not cause even ha- that's not even like hacking. That's just yeah. Like, and that's I like, basically inviting people to go on his right. Facebook. And like I like I the signs were there. Cause like he like already like treated my mom kind of bad. But like it would get worse when he like had someone else. And uh, so I logged in and I read all the messages and I like showed my mom. And uh, she like finally was like, whatever you gonna go. This lady, she's lived in montana she like flew my dad out so when i was 19 is when he left but my brother was only like 15 so like he was still like a kid but yeah. i was like even though 19 is not like an adult yeah with my parents i was pretty much an adult and so like sure it yeah, was like definitely with the yeah yes. kind of the fast yeah. forward through childhood and, yeah, yeah if even having one at all it, yeah <laughs> that's so he left and then like yeah dude and then fucking like a year or two after he like left left my mom was like so i have a friend <laughs> turns out she was pen paling my stepdad in prison for like four years while my dad still lived there oh so i was God. like how did you get uninvited from the wedding i keep hearing you say this i don't think i've actually heard yeah i want to go back to that too now oh. that we've we've landed back on i feel like it was it was probably over something else like just like another fight because like my mom would like take credit cards out in my name and like <sighs> use it like just like stupid shit like that where it's like yeah stupid shit like identity theft <laughs> you know <laughs> you know like my- a crime. Score is eleven. Yeah, you know it's fu- <laughs> That's you know sweet, dude. just just like tanking your future. It's it, it's whatever. I mean, I yeah, I, I I like bullied her into like paying it off because I was like, well, this is that, you. But her, that's yeah, good. So, <laughs> but then she'd be like, well, I used it to buy stuff for you, it's, so it's actually your nah, debt. Nah, nah, like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, why that the fuck back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that ain't how that works. It'd be like, oh, Danny, here, I I bought you a car, and you're like, oh my god, I'm like, by the way, it's with a credit card I took out in your name. Yeah. So it's Here's your thirty two thousand dollars of debt. <laughs> what do you mean you're mad at me? Yeah. I did this for you. Um, but yeah, so like that was whack. Danny, it was probably did you something know like that. That I bought us a Camaro that I'm gonna drive. <laughs> Uh, did you also recently get out of the army? <laughs> <laughs> a Camaro. <laughs> that's I think. Oh, it's a Charger. That's the that's one. The Charger. That, yeah, the char- I think the Dodge Charger is the like classic. The, the official fucking. army. Like, because I I think it's I think it has something to do with them being at like the recruiting spots and then like <laughs> yeah you can get this when you get out I, you know you have it, PTSD yeah. and you got hit in the head with a missile well guess what <laughs> here's, here's a Dodge Charger we're gonna take advantage of you right quick get this shitty made <laughs> American car <laughs> so yeah prison wedding yes you're first off my you're allowed to invite people to a prison? You can't just... I thought it would just be like, hey, here's this piece of paper. There is a limit. You know, you're only allowed so many adults Yeah, I can imagine you. you can't be a banger. Yeah, you know? can't. You're not having, you know, destination wedding in yeah. a way. Uh, it, well, I it's a big destination the... from the cell to, Commissary. you know... Commissary. Exactly. Yeah, like I just picture the room that uh, Hannibal Lecter was in. Just <laughs> having your mom in there. And there's like a priest, but like the priest is like like in a full suit of armor. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I wasn't there, but they yeah, they did it. Oh, you want to hear another fun story? I'm just gonna air all my fucking Do it. family. But wait, what? So okay, you have a couple people there. You Al asked why you were uninvited. You don't actually know. It's just, I can't even remember. It was like okay. it was long enough ago. But I know it was like probably something like that. Because me you and her. Want, did you want to go? Dude, for the bit, a little bit. Like, okay. I feel that's like reasonable. it's a good story. It is, yeah, yeah, that's reasonable. Because you can get pictures taken in like the big boy jail. And I remember one Christmas, uh, there's a photo. I gotta find it somewhere, but it's oh. me, my mom, my stepdad, and prison Santa, which is just like one of the inmates dressed up like Santa, and it's very funny. Uh, so oh, yeah. Oh man, could you imagine how that inmate felt? Yeah, he just looked like fucking like Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks. Oh. It was <laughs> sick, dude. It was fucking <laughs> sick. It's the best photo ever. He just. Oh, he was so stoked. <laughs> I just want to know what he was in for. Oh, probably it was maximum security. So it's big, yeah, big boy prison, big, big, big boy, boy jail. It ain't like DUI. Santa, Santa done done a lick. Yeah, Santa baby done did some shit. Yeah. yeah, Santa's like, I got, uh, I got a request from you. Can you boof this and br- come back <laughs> next week, please? 
<laughs> yeah, it's like Santa's bag, but it's just Santa's <laughs> asshole. Uh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Um, but the day of the wedding, my mom told my aunt, my dad's sister, and she was like, don't tell Kevin, my dad, he's going to try to stop the wedding. (laughs) But then my aunt has a huge mouth, told my dad and my dad started calling the prison from Montana being like, she's bringing in drugs. And he tried to stop the prison wedding, but through the power of love in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, (laughs) my mom... Got yeah, now married. she can't bring drugs into the prison anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she's sh- on a list. <laughs> she's she's cool with the murder. Well, it's a whole big thing. Like supposedly he didn't do he it. Didn't do and he didn't do that. Tr- one. That's <laughs> what they all say. <laughs> yeah, he, if he didn't do that, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, when you look at it from like what my mom has dealt with in terms of men having one locked up behind feet of concrete and steel rebar. Probably makes her feel pretty good, cause like when she doesn't want to hear his mouth, she can hang up on him, and he, know, you know what I mean. So that's so. So is he doing like life? Yeah. So they can't life. Uh, any life, possibility life. of parole? So you're dead. Nope. He's he's going through appeals processes, and like it's like a big thing, and like uh, there was like a big story, like in Boston, there was like one of the forensic whatever the fuck. Uh, she was caught like tampering with evidence. Yo, I watched that documentary. My stepdad's case is part of that, and, like, the judges just keep, for whatever reason, just being like, no, too bad. Like, so, like, he, DNA, like, DNA, like, has, if you go by the DNA, my stepdad should be let out, because it's not matched, and it was proved that it was tampered with, and, like, the Yo. police thing. Dude, his case, it, it's like a whole other podcast just I was gonna for say, him. that sounds like a podcast! It's like some <laughs> Making a Murderer. Like, I remember watching a Making a Murderer, and, like, a lot of the shit that happened in that case happened with his case, and, like, we, we're already, we're at 50 minutes, so I don't want to, like... Yeah, we, we but somehow got to put a bow on this at some it's point. Very, it's very similar to that, and, like, honestly, my mom knows more, like, for sure. Yeah. Because, like, she's read the case front back a million times. It's, like, this fucking thick. It's, like, a Harry yeah. Potter book. She reads it before bed ever. That's her yeah, bedtime dude. story. <laughs> yeah. so he didn't do it. He didn't do it. But uh, I can sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's been promising her, I'll be out this day. And then he's, like, then it gets denied. So, like, it's been seven years of... Soon, honey. <laughs> like soon. Oh, and so yeah. they've never. I mean, well, no, they have. No, they've never consummated the marriage. No. <laughs> that was gonna. The yeah. probably oh, wasn't. The, they probably isn't a real can't. Thing. Maybe that's why she's such a bitch lately. <laughs> like, can someone fuck, fuck my, my mom? Husband. <laughs> yeah. Can someone just fucking fuck her? Jeez. Oh, fuck it. What, what are the visits called? I can't remember. Uh, uh, con- conjugal. 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 I don't know. Yeah, those aren't just... like a thing. Yeah. They might be in other states, but they're not where I my mean, stepdad went. I could also imagine there may be a thing for more. Like, like Aaron Lesser Hernan- crimes. Oh, I was yeah. gonna say for like the big top dog criminals. Oh, tr- yeah, like maybe like they'll like turn a blind eye, like yeah, whatever, exactly. But yeah, like no, they're very like every time I would go to visit the fucking like ugh, this fucking like one lady, she would like you can tell like lesbian and like she would just like fucking they really rub you down and i'm like all right i'm not bringing anything in can you let my nipple go like <laughs> the f- <laughs> fuck dude Just pinching your nipple yeah, like, like, i gotta make sure there's nothing in here are these clamps regulation i don't know <laughs> the fuck i don't think the doa approved this but uh <laughs> Yeah, so it was just a process of getting Pat down and like visiting him all the time and like yeah. It's a that's that's not an electrical one. That's a rabbit vibrator. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, why am I wet? <laughs> <laughs> she hooks my pussy up to a car battery. It's a lot. It's for the prison. They need to know. <laughs> I'm goofing in the electric eel. <laughs> the warden, the warden needs to know for whatever reason. Yeah, he's like, no, that that's how you check for drugs. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, my God. That, I mean, to n- know that you are so now well-adjusted in your own way and yeah. you're a, ha- a happy person in a good partnership with someone who clearly supports you yeah. is... Yeah. Well, I mean... I, I mean, that's like, the dream, yeah. right? And, uh, you know, is always to just be better than what was, oh, yeah. how we were saying. That's so. why I've never drank. I've never done drugs. I've never smoked. Like, that straight really? edge. Oh, wow. Yeah, that straight edge bit is also true. I've never yeah. even, like, tried. I've never even tried it. I would have I would have assumed, like, tried and then nope. gone straight. My mom wow, has yeah. been offering it to me every You're gonna day. You're going to smoke pot one day. To, it's at a point now where she's Jesus like, come on. Christ. Come on. What did, oh, what's the deathbed thing? What did she say to you? Remember uh, that? Something about you smoking pot on her deathbed. Yeah, she was like, she she would do it if I asked her and I was dying. 
And I'd be like, no, I didn't. And she'd be like, yeah, you would. And I'd be like, no, I wouldn't. She'd be like, yeah. And it just devolved just being like, yes, no, yeah. Like, it's just yeah. a bad, I mean, why, just, oh, Jesus, why would, why, why is she? All right. Because she's out of her mind. But yeah, that's, no. That's literally, that is yes. where I was looking off and I was like, no, she's yes. just, she's crazy. Because people are like, how? Because like, I know that I'm like a little nuts out loud, a little bit. But like, it's like, how is she like that? She doesn't, it's like, there's reasons. <laughs> we all, we're all a little nuts yeah. in some way or another, right? I mean, look at this guy. It's a spectrum. Of nutsness. Oh, I I'm love too charming to be autistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true doctor thing. Someone said that to him. What well, yeah, that? Like a neuropsych exam. I remember earlier we were talking about something. Uh, oh, your dad in the hospital. Oh yeah, dude. The neuropsych exam. Remember when we got it back and it said all that shit. Oh yeah, his neuropsych exam thing was so funny. Oh, like, it, with the, like the medical uh, talk of yeah, yeah just yeah, the he, insane shit. The guy shit. was like, you have like all the symptoms. Uh, but I believe you're too charming to be autistic. And I was like, so yo, <laughs> I walked out of there like Kaiser Soze fucking started building a model. <laughs> My love too charming. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so good, dude. I mean, that sentence you like you're too charming to be autistic you appear to be too charming. i feel like that's yeah. bearing the lead a little bit but one of my favorite lines too from his like report was uh they're talking about like his ocd and it's like uh mr Christo- <laughs> mr christock is here says that he had to watch the film shark, shark tale, tale. <laughs> every day at least twice a day or else his mother would die and like just the fact that he had to use shark tale in a serious medical <laughs> like context fucking sent me <laughs> it's a proper diagnosis Mr. through shark tail. Is here. how'd you get diagnosed shark tail yeah, that's literally what i was oh, like do they really need to go further than that yeah. of like i need to watch this movie twice a day or my mom's gonna die yeah. like that right there well she's what dead movie? so maybe Sh- you should have watched shark tail more <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna send the ocd thoughts spiraling i was picturing a dude quit because <laughs> he sees my chart and he's like fuck i don't i'm gonna have to deal with this idiot. shit a cantankerous Old grump, ornery, and a orner, yes, <laughs> oh, too charming. <laughs> I'm f- massively too charming, dude. I fucking <laughs> charming as shit, dude. Look at these mutton chops. You fucking. I mean, fucking f- the pe- the people have felt it. So, uh, <laughs> if you felt the charm, go follow clown people because this combo is dynamite <laughs> as you see they also they do a ton of shows together they're doing the tour what's the tour what do you guys january to february around uh, uh we're we're plugging it right now it's probably we're gonna start in like baltimore like cool. we always do and then we got like some florida stuff got some louisiana we're co-headlining cool. in arizona again nice. and uh gonna try to get some detroit stuff because we're going to a concert there so Hell yeah. <laughs> building yeah. the tour around Hell shit yeah. we want to do awesome <laughs> well i other boys um but yeah, we're gonna probably toast post the dates or whatever. That's what I was gonna say. We'll post cool. them soon. Post them and then I'll I'll put them in the episode link too whenever they're there. So Hell yeah, dude. This was fucking awesome. And the second that we stop recording, I am gonna ask like twenty more questions, I feel like. So with Fuck that yeah. said, this was Beans and Weens, Al Christakis, Brianna Woodward. Brr, brr. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>